Hi, Rendell. Welcome to your Read Aloud for If You Happen to Have a Dinosaur by Linda Bailey and Colin Jack. If you happen to have a dinosaur lying around your living room and you don't know what to do with it, maybe you could use it as a can opener. It would make a great coffee grinder too, or a nutcracker, or a potato masher. And if you need a burglar alarm, your dinosaur's just the thing. There are oodles of things you can do with a dinosaur. Try taking it into your yard. It will mow your lawn, trim your trees, blow your leaves, and dig you a garden in no time flat. Yes, a dinosaur is handy any season of the year. On rainy days, it makes a fine umbrella. In winter, it's a snowplow. And on hot summer days, just park it by the pool. Your friends will line up to try your exciting new diving board. Just think of all the things your dinosaur can do. Does it have sharp teeth? You can use it to shred paper. It will also be a great excuse if you forget your homework. Some dinosaurs make wonderful babysitters, but not all dinosaurs are suited to this work. Some dinosaurs make excellent kites but not odd at all dinosaurs are suited to this work either. There are some things a dinosaur is just not good for at all. Do not ask your dinosaur to carry your picnic basket or push your grocery cart or hold your popcorn bowl. If you study your dinosaur carefully, you'll be able to use it wisely. A small dinosaur will make a dandy pillow or a footstool or a bookmark. A tall dinosaur will clean your roof drains, wash your windows and rescue your kitty lickety split. Once you start using your dinosaur, you'll never want to stop. The possibilities are amazing. And if you treat your dinosaur well, you will have it for a very long time. But what if you don't happen to have a dinosaur lying around your living room? Not everyone does. What if you have an octopus instead, or a porcupine, a penguin, a saber tooth, a Sasquatch, a dodo, or a camel, or a kangaroo. What can you do with a kangaroo? What would you do with a kangaroo?